Okay. Hello, my name is Tria Tranquillo, and I would like to tell you about a painting I did that's a combination of the face of the Hindu god Shiva with my own face. Um, one of the things that's unusual about this is that there is a residue of sunglasses on this character, which I added to in a frivolous moment. Basically, I use this painting to reflect my moods. The basic is there, the structure is there, but who knows what I may add today. Action. Okay, now this is something that has many different layers, and I worked on it for the course of about maybe four months. Um, it started out each, each week I would leave it maybe perhaps dissatisfied with too many black lines going each way and the way I would work with it would be to play with it. For example, with all these black lines before these edges got colorful and chopped into pieces, um, I felt it's, it's boring and it's chaotic, all these black lines are going every which way and I don't know where to go. So to have fun. I figured, well, where am I in this painting? And I wrote, I am here, and marked it, and actually dated it October 20th, <laughs> 2008. As things progressed, oh, perhaps, perhaps, or here, I may be here. <laughs> okay. So for me, uh, when I create art, it's really play. Um, there are no rules in what you can do, where you can throw on sprinkles. You can turn it upside down, you can cut it into pieces, you can wear it on your head. Actually, <laughs> this was used as a shield for a, a full-length body that I did. And um, that's what I like about art. Where else in life can you have no rules? I'd like to show you a few of the paintings I did in my Volcano series. Now, why Volcano? Well, I had a lot of internal angst. And I thought that perhaps by painting it and letting it bubble out on paper uh, it might prevent me from exploding in real life. And then again, no rules. This is fun. In order to make all these things all these little flying things here. I just took a paintbrush and I went kablam, kablam, and some of the paint made lines and it was just so much fun. Each volcano turned out to be a little bit different. This volcano, for example, uh, Ground paper that ended up being almost scrap paper. It had only these little pencil lines and, and pink dots. These these pen or pencil lines. I just had this big piece of paper before this volcano appeared, and just scribbled all over because I just felt like scribbling, 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 scribbling. Didn't know what was going to happen. So later on, I figured makes a good background for a volcano. In order to create these effects, I just had loose paint and held the paper upright like this and let the paint dribble down, you know, dribble, dribble down, and then it kind of melded in all different colors, and um, I felt like adding a little bit of uh, a background with palm trees. So, again, anything goes. Another volcano painting. Again, with both the dribbles and the throne paint, and some little Hawaiian hut there in the forest, just like waiting to be exploded upon. But all is not lost. Look at this blue, perhaps water. Who knows? Ah, and this preceded, this next one preceded all my volcano paintings. Here, 
it was before the volcano erupted. I had been thinking volcanoes. But you see this one is just, uh, here we go. This is a much calmer painting. It shows the volcano before the eruption. This was a lot of fun too. With a with a fan brush in green, I just went <laughs> then threw some sparkles over it and uh, yeah. Okay. Well, that's all for now. <laughs> Let me entertain you. That's what these words right over here say. This is a collage I made today. Today being July 8th, 2009, at one of my art therapy sessions. Hello again, I'm Teresa Tranquillo, at least that's one of my names. And today I'm going to discuss some of the collages I've made and also an oil painting that changes pretty much weekly. In the meantime, I also made this shirt. This, these are fabric paints. Sometimes I do art to release things that I'm feeling and other times I do it just for the pure joy of color. Uh, today, I made not only this collage but this collage. And it was more trying to work something out. I started with the photo. I started with a photograph of this old woman right here. And I had very mixed feelings about her because to me she looked lonely and trapped. And so far that was the only photograph I had. Luckily, someone also doing collages found a few other photographs that to me said something completely different about older women, such as her. or her. The reason I made this collage was because sometimes I feel that aging in this society in which I live is a very difficult process for women and uh, we feel like opportunities that were abundant earlier in my life are no longer so abundant. Therefore, it was really good to see some pictures of women that look like they're still sexy, strong, and full of the warrior spirit into their 90s. And to me, this collage is inspiring. And um, that is one of the highest purposes of my art, to inspire myself, as well as just to have fun. Now, in this painting over here, which is basically an oil painting, I tried to make it a combination of the face of the Hindu god Shiva superimposed on my own face. So um, Shiva is actually a male god, although a lot of the Hindu gods are both male and female at the same time. That's why the face, you can't really tell whether it's male or female. Snakes are rising out of his head, and the reason this painting changes weekly is because with pastels, I can go over the face. Like last week, this painting wore purple sunglasses. Uh, the residue is still somewhat around the eyes here, but that's okay because who knows what it'll change to next time. And just earlier, I was seeing if my glasses would fit which they do, which is kind of neat. That's all I have to say.